So hello, today I'm going to show you how you can create a PCB template in Altium Designer 24. So to create a PCB template, what you have to do, you have to go to the file, open PCB in Altium Designer, and then uh, here you have origin, that origin I will bring here. So let me zoom it here. After that, what you can do, you can go to the, so let me zoom it. Zoom this because once you uh, once you select the the origin, then you can you are not able to zoom it. So better to zoom the area where you have to uh, put your origin. So uh, after zooming that, you can go to the edit and then here um, select origin and set, and then just click here, and your you can see that your origin is shifted to this position. After that, to change the dimensions of the PCB, here you can see that okay, uh, the dimensions are given: horizontal 6,000 mils and vertical is 4,000 mils. So first, let me um, change the unit from mils to millimeter. Click on the Q; it has changed the uh, uh, unit from mils to millimeter. After that, what you have to do? Let me change this uh, snap distance to 0.2 and this one five millimeter after this um, to change the dimension of the pcb board what you have to do you have to click uh, on on your keyboard one so it will bring you to the 1d mode or you can go to the view and then here you can select board planning mode after that you can go to the design and here you can see that redefine board shape Edit board shape, modify board shape. So I will select edit board shape. Uh, I will change the grid. Let me check. You can just click on the G. So it will show you the grid. And then here I will select point 0.1. And uh, horizontal, I will keep it to, let's say, 55 and vertical 45. So let me change this. 76, 47. You can zoom it with uh, your, you can hold the um, control and then scroll the mouse while holding the um, control button. Then select this and then extend so forth. Oops. Sorry. 49, 53, 43.7. Okay, I just need one more. So 55. And then vertically, I will change it to 45, as I said. So 52. You can choose the size as per your requirement. For me, 55 times 45 is more than enough. Let me just drag. Yeah. So that's how it looks like. Let's save this as a this template as a normally I put the project number. PCB name, date, modification ID, if you have, and then version, and then at the end, temp one. Okay, then save this. And uh, to go to the 2D mode, just click on two, or you can again go here, uh, sorry, in uh, view, and then click on the 2D layout mode. So that's how it looks like. And after this, uh, I will go to the, I will open the component and bring here Fujitsu marker and uh, tooling holes. Those are the component normally what I place. So tooling hole, one, two. I already made a video on uh, how you can create Fujitsu marker and tooling hole that you will find in the description link. So here designator, you can change this. Let's call this uh, tooling hole one, tooling hole two, Fujitsu marker one, and 
this is Fujitsu marker two. So let me synchronize this, distribute horizontally and align at the bottom. So that's how it looks like. Then uh, what I normally do, I put here the layer information. So view configuration, you can go and here uh, the layer information the, that is useful for your uh, PCB manufacturer when you will give your PCB manufacturer the assembly output job file. Uh, all this information will be printed on the assembly uh, output job file. So, which is very helpful for the for the uh, PCB manufacturer. So you can go to place and then you can put here a, a string. And, I, and then let's call this a string as a top layer. And you have to, sorry, not top layer, top overlay. Top overlay. And then you have to bring it on the top overlay. Then change the height of the text to two millimeter, then font type true type, and then font bold. Then I will copy and then paste, and this is uh, bottom overlay, and bring it to the, on the bottom overlay. Then I will again copy both of them, and then normally I put here also the top shoulder because uh, on the assembly file you have the information regarding the shoulder top and this one is your bottom shoulder and change here to bottom shoulder. Then uh, again, paste, and this is my copper, sorry. And this is top layer, and this is my bottom copper. So it, it should be on bottom layer. Okay, then what you have to do, you have to uh, mirror the bottom uh, text. You can select all this and then press, you can select like this either and then press X. So it will automatically mirror this. And then you can, with the space bar, you can bring it here or you can select individually and then just click here on the mirror. So it has to be like this. Yeah, and just let me align all these things. So it looks nice and good here also. Okay, and then I put some project information here. So like the project name, date, file name. So let me put here the file name. So again, I will copy this uh, string. Uh, and uh, so let's call this uh, file name. And here I will add one layer, which is called a component layer and I will call it uh, document top layer. Okay, so this file name I will bring bring it to the document top layer and then again I will copy this paste and uh, here you can select the file path name. So let's uh, 
call this PCB file name to path. And then as soon as you select, it will give you the name of your PCB. So whatever the project number, PCB name, date, and so on, so on and so forth, whatever you will put here, it will show you on your assembly file. Then uh, let me copy, copy this. So here, project, then date and variant you can put here. So for the project, you can select the project from the parameter here, project options. When you will go here in project options, here I cannot go because it's not a project, it's just only a PCB, so that it's not included in any project. So that's why it's not showing me this option, but you can um, uh, define, uh, you know, when you will use this in your project, then you can, def you have access to this project options and there you can define the parameter and that parameter where you write the name of the schematic that let's call it AASCH and uh, project name, sorry project name. So it will take automatically from your schematic as soon as uh, it will find this parameter, then it will take this parameter from your schematic. Then date, for the date you can go here and directly select the print date. So here it will show you the current date and then for the variant and go here and choose the variant and this variant name uh, when you if you have any kind of a variance in your project when you will define it will directly uh, show the name of the variant here so this is at the top side let me shift this and then i copied it paste and then now you have to click on the x on your keyboard so the same information will come on the bottom layer then what we have to do at the moment, this is, you can see top document, then you have to select this and then you have to go to the bottom bottom, bottom side. So as soon as you, you can change the color for this, um, let's say blue, so it's better visible or, yeah, so it's uh, looks better. Yeah, so these are the information which normally I put on the PCB. If you want, you can also put here data matrix code uh, or symbol of the company. And yeah, um, if you need some more parameter here that you can add. So it, it's uh, depend on uh, person to person. But these are the basic things what uh, normally PCB manufacturer also expect on the assembly file. So that's how you can create template for your PCB in Altune Designer 24. I hope this video is useful for you. If this video is useful for you, then please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you very much.